Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create five custom hover effects for images in a list section in Squarespace. Now, as always, the codes are listed in the description below, but let's hop on into my demo site so I can show you how they work. Alrighty, so here we are in my demo site, and I do want to mention there are three types of list sections, simple, carousel, and banner. The codes I'm about to share with you will work with any of those. So no matter what type of list section you're using, these codes will still change the image styles on a hover. So here I have a sample list, and this is what we're going to code today. We're going to turn those images into grayscale images on a hover. Then we're going to add that grayscale filter and remove it on a hover, turning them back to full color. We'll invert the colors and have them be inverted and switch back to normal. And then for the grand finale, I'm going to show you how to create a faded image with a cool color blend on a hover. That one was one of my favorites. So I'm excited to share it with you. So these are the two main codes that we're going to use today. List item, list image, and list item hover, list image. Now I'm just going to copy this code right here and let's hop into our custom CSS panel and make this magic happen. I'm going to navigate to design and then scroll all the way down to custom CSS at the bottom. Here's where I'm going to paste the code. Now, right away, what this code is saying is list item, list image. If I add the word hover right here, oops, not in capital letters. There we go. If I add the word hover right there, so we have list item, hover, list image, then I can open up a curly bracket and say filter grayscale 100%. Now, what this means is when someone hovers over the list item, the list image will get this filter. Check it out. See how it turns grayscale on a hover? Pretty cool, right? Now, what if we want to reverse it? I'm going to add one more line here. At the very top, I'm going to say list item, list image, filter grayscale 100%. There we go. And down here, I'm going to move this back to zero. So you'll see all my images are now gray, but when I hover over it, it'll go back to full color. Pretty cool, right? All right, let's do that with inverted as well. Instead of grayscale, I'm going to change this to invert, and I'll change this to invert, and you'll see those photos now have inverted colors unless I hover over them. Now, to be honest, that kind of looks terrible, in my opinion, for these photos, but it's great for iconography. Check this out. I have another image section here where I have a black and white icon set. So when I hover over the image, those icons invert their colors, and it definitely makes it stand out. Now we can also remove this first line, there we go, and have it invert on a hover. So it'll be the solid black icon on white until I hover over it and then it inverts. So that was the fourth one to go through. Now we've got one final one that I think is pretty fun and that is, where's my list? There we go, the faded image with a color blend on hover. Check this out. We'll go ahead and do that with these icons down here. On a hover, I'm going to say, on a hover, instead of filter, I'm going to say opacity, uh, let's go with 0.5. And down here, I'm going to add one more line that says list item media inner background linear gradient 45 degrees blue to red. Now check it out. Now I'm going to get a cool background fade while the opacity of that image pulls up a little bit so it's slightly lighter. So let me scroll up here because it looks cool with pictures. There we go. We can see we have just a slightly faded image so that background can really shine. When the image is at 100% opacity, we're not able to see the list item media inner. The image is like full uh, strength there, you could say. So you're not able to see what's behind it. But if we change the opacity on a hover, then we can see those colors that we've placed behind the image. That's why we don't need to start this one off with the hover code. All we're doing is say media inner, give it that background color. So when I change the opacity here, we can see more of it. Now feel free to adjust this to 0.75, that's for 75% opacity, so it's a little bit uh, less transparent. You can also change it down to like 0.25 if you want it to be super transparent, whatever you'd like. And this gradient works just like regular gradient codes. Feel free to adjust that however you see fit. More information on gradients is at insidethesquare.co forward slash gradient if you want to learn a little bit more about those. Now, whichever one of those styles you decide to do for your own website, just make sure you select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. And that's it for this tutorial. The codes we just went through are listed in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something awesome. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you'll love my CSS cheat sheet. I put all of my pro tips and custom codes specifically for Squarespace into one PDF 
and you can download a copy right now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.